If there's enough of it, air pollution can be a danger to your health. Dr. Michelle Oakes at the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation says ozone and particulate matter are the pollutants to watch for here. On the handful of days when ozone reaches higher than normal levels, TDEC is ready to alert the public. These air quality alerts are, are color-coded, and when you reach a certain level that could potentially affect uh, air quality or the health of, of folks, um, it's presented and presented in a manner where people know the air quality is poor. While ozone levels tend to spike in urban areas when temperatures get hot, overall, Middle Tennessee is in good shape when it comes to air quality. We're achieving all the uh, standards for the ozone and PM 2.5. Uh, national ambient air quality standards. So that's a very good indication of things are uh, clean and we're main, able to maintain clean and healthy air. In fact, we've seen improvements in air quality over the last few decades. We've made a lot of progress by working with our industries to put the correct and appropriate emission controls in place to ensure that we meet the air quality standards. But there are, uh, you know, concerns that, that are kind of out on the horizon. One of those concerns, rapid population growth. More people moving here means more cars on the road. Over the decade in Tennessee, we've seen tremendous growth. We've seen, I believe, an 8% increase in population. And with that comes close to a 20% increase in vehicles miles traveled in the state of Tennessee. Wildfires are also a threat to our air quality. Fires states away can lead to poor air quality conditions right here in Middle Tennessee. Wildfires, and this has been particularly more pronounced in what the western U.S., but we also have a lot of activity in the southeastern U.S. through prescribed burns to promote agricultural activities. To combat some of these issues, Tennessee is partnering with fire management to do prescribed burns on days when it will be less likely to impact air quality. Mary Mays, News 2.